The spectrum footprint of a satellite shows how its transponders are lined up in the spectrum analyzer display in a graphic representation that resembles a city skyline. The easiest way to identify a satellite if you own a Ranger product is by using the stealth ID function. But we should also add that you can use the spectrum footprint as well if you like. So let's have a look at how this function works. What we see on the screen right now is the signal being received from our satellite dish. We know we have the dish pointing somewhere around 5 degrees east. And we would like to align the dish to Astra 19 degrees east. Just by using the satellite spectrum footprint for this satellite, which we have saved previously. First of all, we need to go to the installations manager. Select the installation where we have saved this footprint. Select data captures. And choose the footprint for our satellite of interest. In this case, Astra 19 degrees east. As we can see, the corresponding spectrum footprint is now showing on the screen and we will use it as a reference to find Astra 19 degrees east satellite. Now we activate DISEC and start moving the dish rotor until we receive a satellite signal that matches that of our footprint of interest. When this happens, we know that we will be receiving the signal from Astra 19 degrees east. The best way to create your own footprints is the following. First, we need to go to the Preferences menu. To the Tools tab. And select Export button, Screen plus Data. Now we go back to the Spectrum Analyzer mode, move the dish until we receive the signal from the satellite we want to take the footprint from, and we press the Screenshot button. We write an appropriate name for that footprint file that identifies its satellite, and we will have it as a reference for future use from now on.